hope, what does that really mean? To us, it's more than just the name of an organization. To us, it symbolizes the mission that we set out to do. Hope is an acronym for helping overcome past experiences. And that's exactly what we do. And we do that because hope, think about it, would hope really, it would hope really be important if everything would be going well. And I, and I submit to you that it's not. It's when things go bad that you really need to hold on to hope. And that's what we bring to the families and the students that come to our school, that call our school the place of hope. We do that by empowering teachers to be permissionless in what they do. They know the why and they know the what needs to be done, and then we let them loose. Be creative, be unique, know your students, know your family, know, know what they need, and get it accomplished. By doing that, what happens is that educators then develop this outstanding school program. And that's what happens. We currently have had a waiting list of 150 students, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. But you create outstanding school that causes transformation in the lives of students. And when that happens, then you create sustainability, long-term sustainability for the student and for the school as well, and the community that they belong and they support. As you know, my name is Jose Suarez. My wife and I started Hope Ranch Learning Academy in 2004, and we serve children in the autism spectrum. Uh, we're a private Christian school in, in, uh, in the nature coast of Florida, west coast, central state. Uh, and we do this in a working horse ranch, which is really cool because the kids get to interact with horses on a daily basis. And, uh, and then in, in, in the middle of all that, we integrate therapy into that program. So not, not only do you get equine assisted therapy, but you get the academics in a matter that they understand. And what we all often tell our staff is that it's not for the child to learn how you teach, it's you have to change the way you teach so the child can learn. We have to adjust that. It causes a lot more stress doing that way because now a teacher has to adapt to 20 some students in the classroom, but it get, they get it and the results are fabulous. When, when you look at what has happened because of that, and that's what sets us apart, it's not just the environment that, we, that the school is set in, it's, it's, you've got 10 acres, uh, well, 15 acres now, we bought a second property, um, majestic oaks all around, horses, to, the kids to interact with, academics, the academics is integrated with therapy, therapy is integrated with social skills building, social skills building is integrated with family contact and family uplifting, so not only dealing with the student itself, but the whole family. And as a result, the results have been amazing. Mute students, mute are students are coming to our school because of the trauma they've received in other, in other placements. And within a few months, they begin to speak. It's just fabulous to see them. We had a, a student that came in uh, 15 years old. 15 years old, stopped, he stopped speaking at school in the third grade. They couldn't figure out why, but he stopped speaking in school. Prior to enrolling in our school, six months prior, he stopped speaking at home. So now he was totally mute. Three months into our school program, he begins to speak, and by December, he has a speaking part at the Christmas play. It was just amazing. We had uh, another, another child that uh, we recently took to Tallahassee to talk to our legislature about school, school freedom, scholarship freedom, school choice. And this child, she came into our school in third grade. She's currently in sixth grade, actually starting sixth grade this year. Also came in mute, totally uh, nonverbal. She went to Tallahassee and she spoke in front of legislatures, people she didn't know, in a totally different setting. She spoke and, and spoke to her peers, hundreds of peers at a time, talking to them about the importance of school choice the importance of ESAs and what that has done in her life that allowed her to get the education specialized for her needs. And as a result of that, here she is speaking, making videos and promoting that process. It is fabulous. Kids are exponentially increasing. We, uh, we in Florida, I love Florida. So Florida recently passed HB1, right? And then we, we got vouchers for everybody. Uh, any child in the state that uh, can enroll from K through 12 and have access to these scholarships. We've been running with a steady wait list of 150 students. Every single year, we try to do this, we try to do that, 150 students, and mostly because they can't, they can't come to the school, there's no financing. It costs $11,000 a year to come to our school. With this funding, that list went from 150 down to 30, because everybody was funded. So thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, you for all your jobs. Thank you.